This is Access Ann Arbor. Welcome. My name is Andrea Dillon, and I will be your host today with the Community Television Network. I am pleased to introduce Reverend Selena Lucas with the Center of Light in Ann Arbor. Hello, Reverend Selena. Hi. Thanks for hosting this. You're welcome. So I wanted to ask you a little bit about yourself and also what is offered at the Center of Light. Sure. Um, I am one of uh, two priests at the Center of Light here in Ann Arbor. We have centers in multiple cities across the United States, and we offer a whole host of, of um, classes. We think of ourselves more as a spiritual school instead of a church. So we offer people um, just introductory classes into what is soul. How do you make an effective prayer? How do you give a blessing? How do you improve your meditation? Um, we are also very interested in helping to uh, kind of awaken and elevate people's consciousness about social issues, environmental issues, spiritual issues. So at least once a month we hold a conscious movie night and those are posted on websites and flyers around town that uh, invite people to come and see different ways to think about what's going on in the world and in their lives. We have um, each day a group meditation that anybody can come to. Uh, they're a little early for some people Monday through Friday, but we start at six. Mm -hmm. And there is something about um, doing that in, in, in a group that just seems to improve the, the concentration. So we offer that. We have a um, Sunday service on Sundays where people get to get a lot more of that just beyond meditation into a discussion and then brunch and being in community you know, to see, share things that are coming up. We have workshop weekends um, with our master teachers that come on a rotating basis too, and many, many more things like Peace Festival. We did an inner peace festival for the second time this year, downtown and in, on Main Street, it was a blast. Mm -hmm. And I heard you have a special event coming up this month, is that right? Yeah, that's um, why we wanted to come tonight in particular was to let people know that uh, there's a, a speaker, a guest speaker that's coming. She's actually one of our um, master teachers. Her name is Mother Claire Watts and she's just coming back from Stockholm, Sweden and she's coming to Ann Arbor. Mm. Yeah. So um, when, when I hear about Christian mysticism, mm -hmm. I wonder what is a Christian mystic and also, when you talk about Mother Claire, what would make people want to meet Mother Claire as a Christian mystic? Yeah. I remember um, about six years ago when I first heard about Christian mysticism, I was going to go attend one of the lectures. It was actually put on by the center in Kansas City. And, I, and it was um, Introduction to Christian Mysticism. And I was like, what is that? It sounded woo-woo, you know, but <laughs> I'm like, I was kind of at a woo-woo stage, so I decided <laughs> to go check it out. And um, what I, what I learned was that being a mystic just means you have your own experience of God, your own, ex your own spiritual experience. It's nothing that comes from a book. It's nothing that somebody tells you has to be a particular way. So um, that was like a new idea, a new um, way of thinking to me. So um, it, was, it was neat to get to understand more what that is about for me. Mm -hmm. And when you have your own experience of something, no one can really tell you that that's not right, that that's not your yeah. experience. So it's, it's something that stays with you no matter what you do in your life. Um, as far as why people might want to come see Mother Claire, mm -hmm. I remember the first time I met her. Um, she's just one of those people that's got a really um, kind of magnetic personality, but more than that, she's very warm. She's um, She's a mother of four kids. Mm -hmm. She grew up actually in Switzerland. Her parents were Baptist missionaries, um, which turned her off of Christianity for most of her life. <laughs> but she, she knew she wanted God. Mm -hmm. She just didn't like that form. So she went to, um, she became part of a yogi ashram, she and her family, for many years. And she 
kept wanting to find a deeper and deeper connection. Mm -hmm. So she also went with Sufi path. And when she met some people teaching Christian mysticism, as much as she didn't like the form at first, that was what really got her to the depth that she was looking for. So there are many inner paths, um, but Christian mysticism is the one that, that, we, that we teach. Mother Claire is one of the co-directors of our Centers of Light across the United States. She was a um, Jungian psycho psychologist and a midwife for years. She's got a, just this crazy background of experiences, of just life experiences that she brings to her teachings. And um, such a depth of wisdom and insight for people. You can come to these uh, workshops and ask anything, mm -hmm. anything, and she will give you guidance, whether you're a guidance and insight into what your situation is without even having to be a student. It's just an amazing opportunity to actually meet a, a teacher, a real spiritual teacher. So um, when, when is she coming? And also when she comes, do people get to interact with her? And what is she talking about? And right. what does that look like? Yeah. Um, well, first of all, she's coming this month in September. Okay. She'll come on Thursday the 20th and give a, her first workshop is at 7.30 on Thursday. And it's um, about opening to the new age. Oh. Yeah. It's going to be uh, all about people have this um, either fear or excitement, it seems, about changes people are talking about. I'm, you know, the Mayan calendar in 2012, and there's been creepy movies that have been mm -hmm. out. But um, she has an, um, a really beautiful perspective about where, where this is all heading. And it doesn't need to be anything scary. It's just a, it's a new turn for human consciousness. It's really inspiring. So that's Thursday night. Friday night, um, she's doing something a little different. It's called satsang, which is more of an Eastern tradition, mm -hmm. um, spiritual Eastern tradition of question and answer between a teacher and students. It's open to the public, though. So anybody can come. Um, she may give a little bit of a lesson or just a short spiritual teaching and then people can ask about that or they can ask about maybe questions that they've had maybe even their whole lives about God and um, their jobs, their family relating. I mean it can be anything really and it's a, it's a real gift to have a one-on-one -on -one like mm -hmm. that to that depth. And um, Saturday so the Friday one, the satsang starts at 7.30 as well. Saturday, that's a, a bigger workshop time, starting at 10 a.m. on the 22nd. And she starts with a teaching on the matrix. And I'm not, I don't mean the movie, the matrix. I mean, like, what is this matrix that we live in? People sometimes reference God as the being that we live and move and have our being, have our being. But what does that mean? You know, and what is that? Spiritual matrix. Yeah, spiritual matrix. Yeah, what holds us together mm -hmm. as souls and as consciousness and the universal consciousness. What is that? So she talks about, um, about that and then we'll take a break for a, for a lunch that's included in the session and then, then there's a kind of a hands-on experiential piece that is really awesome after that. That sounds great. Yeah. Uh, it's, so you talk, when you talk about experience and you're talking about meditation, mm -hmm. you do that a lot? Is that, that's a, lo a lot of the practice and what you teach people to experience in meditation? Yeah. When um, I kind of alluded to it earlier, like what we do, like the activities we have, we start off every day with, with a meditation. And it really gives you a fresh start to each day to just get quiet and balanced. And if there's something that's really been bothering, you can take it inside a meditation even once you learn the tools of doing that and get some clarity about what that's about mm -hmm. and let it go if you want to. So that that is kind of central to having any kind of inner experience of your own spirit and your connection to the divine. We, if people want in more in depth than just being part of the community and they want to actually be taught in that way, we do teach people step by step how to focus, how to make that connection stronger and stronger. And it's, um, it's been life changing for me and the people that I've seen take it on. The, um, the meditations that we typically do during the weekday mornings are just silent, but in a group setting, the vibration is just right. You know, it helps people c 
connect better, mm -hmm. then it, you can certainly do it by yourself. But there's something about being in a group that makes it easier. Um, occasionally, we will have a guided meditation where you are sitting still, with your eyes closed, but there's you're being taken through an experience. And um, we actually have a tape of one of those um, that I wanted to share with everybody tonight. It's a beautiful meditation that comes from um, a, a, a different teacher. His name is uh, Master Cho, and he is a pranic healer. He's passed on now, but mm -hmm. this is a beautiful meditation that he developed called Twin Hearts. And it's um, just for people who maybe haven't had much experience meditating. It's a nice way to feel what that's about. So um, before we begin, usually the easiest way, we don't, we don't have people do lotus or anything, which is good because I'm too old for that. <laughs> so if you're sitting in a chair, for the people in the audience that want to join us, um, you have your feet on the ground, so you feel grounded and you feel relaxed. You want to make sure your chair is supporting your back. And um, hands just you know on your lap or whatever feels comfortable. We do talk a little bit about breathing, but it's not as important as just kind of letting everything go from the day. So you don't want to you don't want to entertain any more thoughts or to-do mm -hmm. lists or anything like that. You just listen to the meditation in this case. So All right, should we do the meditation? Yeah, let's do okay. that. Twin hearts. Created by Master Chow. Let us invoke for divine blessings. To the Supreme God, to my spiritual teacher, to all the spiritual teachers, holy masters, all the saints, holy angels, and all the great ones. We thank you for your blessings. We humbly ask for divine guidance, for divine love, for illumination, for divine oneness and bliss, help and protection. We thank you in full faith. Place the tip of your tongue to the roof of your palate. Place your forefinger over your heart for a few seconds while you concentrate on your heart. Recall a happy event. Take your time. experience the explicit feelings of sweetness, tenderness, and of love. Gently and lovingly smile at your heart. Say words of love and sweetness to your heart. Wait for the response. Can you feel your heart center responding with love, with joy and bliss? The feeling is fantastic. Recall another happy event. Can you feel your heart center responding with love, with joy? and bliss. 
The feeling is fantastic. Recall another happy event. Re-experience this happy event. Smile at your crown center. Your crown center is a being of divine love. Say words of love to this being of divine love. Lovingly and gently smile at your crown center. Wait for the response. and you feel your crown center responding with divine love and divine sweetness. We're going to bless the earth with loving kindness. We will be using the prayer of St. Francis of Assisi. Raise your hands with your hands facing outward. Imagine the earth in front of you the size of a small ball. Be aware of your heart and silently repeat after me. Lord, make me an instrument of your peace. Feel the inner peace within you. Allow yourself to be a channel for divine peace. Feel the peace within you. Let it flow through your arms, through your hands, Gently and lovingly, share this peace with the small earth in front of you. Feel this peace. Visualize the aura of the earth becoming a dazzling white light with a little pinkish glow around it. Where there is hatred, let me sow love. Feel the love within you. Allow yourself to be a channel for divine love. Feel this love within. Feel this love flowing from your heart, through your arms, to your hands, going to the small earth in front of you. Bless the earth with peace and with love. Where there is injury, pardon. Allow yourself to be a channel for divine forgiveness, divine reconciliation.
bless the earth with the spirit of forgiveness, the spirit of reconciliation. Let there be understanding, harmony, and peace. Where there is despair, hope. Allow yourself to be a channel for divine hope and faith. Bless the earth with hope and with faith. Bless people who are having a difficult time. Bless them with hope and with faith. Silently tell them, you can make it. Bless them with divine hope, divine faith, with divine strength. Blessings be to all. Where there is darkness, light. Where there is sadness, joy. Allow yourself to be a channel for divine light and divine joy. Bless the earth with divine light and divine joy, especially people who are sad, who are in pain, and people who are depressed. Fill them with light and joy. Be aware of your crown, the center of your crown. Press the crown with your forefinger for several seconds to help you concentrate on the crown. When it opens, you might feel something blooming on the top of your head. And some might feel some pressure. Imagine the small earth in front of you again. You're holding it with your hands out in front of you and silently repeat after me. From the center of the heart of God, bless the entire earth. Be blessed with loving kindness. Feel the divine love and kindness. Let the entire earth be blessed with great joy and happiness, with harmony and divine peace, with goodwill and the will to do good. Imagine people are not only talking about doing something, but actually acting out this goodness. Blessings be to all. So that's a, a sample of, of what meditation can be like, even a guided one. What was your experience of that? I feel different, just like, mm -hmm. I feel like all the space around me feels different, and um, I was really 
feeling all the people that really want some kind of a peace, mm -hmm. that just need some encouragement or need something to do. Yeah. So I wonder like, if you want to say anything for people that are looking for something to find some kind of peace. Yeah, meditation, um, there's lots of different ways to practice it. It's very, we, are, we already know scientifically that it's good for your health, but there's a much deeper peace that comes with that. So finding a path that will help you get to that insight is, is something we really hope everybody can find for themselves. And maybe this path is a good one for lots of those folks that have been looking and Mother Claire coming in, you know, in just a few weeks, starting the 20th, is a good place to start. Checking that out. Wonderful. Well, thank you so much for joining us today and for being our guest. Yeah, thank you for having me.